best friends, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make journal toppers, but first, our shout out to Barbara, Belinda, Anita, Kay and Christy B65. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today we're going to do those journal toppers, and what you'll want to do is get yourself some a base, a base for your topper. You're going to build your decorations on top of this. You can make this any size you want because it's going on the outside of your journal as a topper. So you don't want to make it as big as the cover of your journal, but you're going to have to decide what your size is according to what size you're making your journal. So I backed my paper on some file folder. You don't have to decorate the back because this is going to be glued on the cover of your journal. And I sewed around the outside. I inked it. I jazzed it up a little bit with some little stitches. Okay, so let's get going. Let's start with this one. We're going to do two. So what I have done is I have a few elements that I have prepared. So our little our little tutorial will move right along. So I do need to snip this a little more right here. And I want this to fit right inside where I have sewn. You do not have to sew, but if you've been uh, watching me, you know that I love to sew the paper. I love to sew paper. I used to love to sew fabric a lot and make clothes, but not anymore. Now I just love to sew that paper. <laughs> and I do it every chance I can get. Okay, so I frayed the edge. This is just regular old cotton that has been coffee dyed. And I am going to, I think I'm going to glue it on this side since I have my little decoration going over here. I think I want my decoration up higher. So I'm going to grab my fabric tack and I am going to get this lid off my finger somehow. There we go. And I'm just going to actually apply my glue to my page. It seems to be just a little easier for me that way. And of course we've got a little issue with our, well it seems to be quite open, but it just seems to be taking its little sweet time coming down here. Why this is coming down, I am going to tell, give you a little soft, uh, a soft disclosure. I have an Etsy store, guys. It's in the link below the description. And I will do a larger reveal uh, a little later. But I have some things in it like napkins and journals and ephemera, little paper bags, little different things that you can use for your journal. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been working on it and I told you I had a surprise. So I'll continue to talk about it as it goes along, but you are welcome and invited to go check it out. Okay, so we've got that down right like that. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to put a piece of this. It's, it's dyed paper that it's got a shimmer to it. I've ripped it and I've inked it around the edge with the gathered twigs. And I am just going to get this glued on here. All my glue seems to be taking a little bit of time this morning. I think it's the temperature. It's turned chillier. It's not cold by any stretch of the imagination. But it's definitely chillier, and I do think it's a, um, a temperature issue with the glue. All right, let's get that down. Now, what I've got here is I've got some coffee dyed paper that I've just ripped to kind of, you know, fit the size of my little image that I've just cut out. It was just an image. It was on a printed tag, and I didn't want the whole tag, so I just ripped around the image I wanted. That's actually a butterfly. I thought it was a flower petal, but it's a butterfly right there on some magnolia flowers or rose. I'm not sure if it's a rose. It might be a rose because that bud looks like a rose. But anyway, it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'd like to put it down maybe something like this. 
I'm thinking I have some other issues, is, issues, not issues. I have some other things I want to put on here. We have no issues. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. We have no issues here. We're having a great time. We are making a journal topper. And you guys, these are really cool because you can just pop them right on a journal and then select your pages you want to go in and then decorate accordingly. And it just makes things go very, very quickly. And I just think it takes the pressure off personally. I do. Now I'm going to round this corner right here if I can. Let's see if it will allow me. So what this is, let me see if I can grab this. Where did I have this? Let me look just a second. Okay, what this is, is it's that Tim Holtz Ideology collage paper. Okay, it's this. And what I did was I took it and I took some watered down uh, white school glue and I painted it on my coffee dyed paper. And then I just laid this over the top. Now it took quite a while to dry overnight. And, but it's nice and dry and it looks like this now. And so I just ripped a piece off. And that's where I got this little piece. And I am just going to attach it right here. I need to put a little bit more glue on this little piece right here. And get that to stick down a little better. And I'd like to put this right up here in the corner. Almost like this. Oh, I'm liking how this is turning out. Now, I have some lace. I guess it's lace. It's really thick. Um, but I, I've got this, and I've cut a couple of pieces that I want to put one right down here at the bottom. I actually don't know if it goes this way. I think it goes this way. It, which way does that go, you guys? I guess it goes this way. Okay. So if it goes this way, I don't know that it really matters because the, what, what we do with things, I don't think it really matters. I kind of like it turned up as opposed to turning down and away. Oh, this is fine. We could do it this way. Okay. So I'm sure y'all are all screaming at me, this is wrong, this is right. But, you know, it really doesn't matter because it's just our little journal and we're just going to put words upside down and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we want to put this upside down then I guess we're just going to put this upside down oh well oh well okay so oh I like it right there I think that looks lovely now I have a bigger piece of this and I would like to put it right there so I've got to get I'm just going to take a little bit of time so let me get this on here Okay, you guys, I've got my glue on here now. Now I'm going to get this placed right on here. I don't want to cover up my stitching. I think I'd like it just like that. Do I want it the other way? I don't know which way I want it. Oh, I like it this way better. Okay. There we go. Now I think we still need something like maybe a number right here, don't you think? All right, I grabbed my box of numbers and things and I have a, an 11 that has a little bit of peach color to it. Now we could stick that right there or I have some sorry silk and I'm thinking maybe we can just kind of glump a little bit right here and maybe just take it up just a little bit. Mm, or I just, I'm just liking this right here. I'm going to cut a little bit off. I'm going to take it to the machine. I'm going to see if I can glump it up like this and maybe just kind of swirl it around a little bit. I'm going to see if I can do that. So hang on just a second. Okay, you guys, I just glumped it on there. The sun's coming through. I shut the blinds, but it's still doing it. But oh my goodness, I just think that's beautiful. You put that right on top of your 
book cover for your journal. Let's do another one, okay? Oh, these are so much fun. I've got a nice green one here. I think that's really pretty. And let's, oh, I took that same coffee dyed cotton and I stamped it with my word stamp using some stays on black. And I think I would actually, I think I actually do want to keep it right here on this side, even though I've got my zigzag. I think that will be just fine. I'm going to fray this very quickly right here. Just a couple strands off. And let's go ahead and get our fabric tack and get her down. I actually cut the end off of my fabric tack. I think a couple things are going on. The weather's changed and it's a little cooler. And I'm getting towards the end, although once you get it down on in that tube and that this tube it should just still come right on out so i think it's more of a temperature issue it's a little slow this morning it's got the slows okay because i do keep it um what did i do with my lid oh no oh there it is i keep it in my little um painted jar right here <laughs> So it's already always upside down. Now which way? Not that it matters, but this way I think looks better. So I'm going to make sure that my zigzag stitch is noticeable. And I'm going to make sure that my frayed edges are pulled out. Because I think they're so cute and add a nice little touch. So get those frayed edges pulled out. This glue glues as well too. So I'm just going to quickly get this down. I've already got it definitely anchored with the fabric tack. And I'm just going to use that glue right there just to get that other side completely glued down. All right. That's pretty. Get that pink out of here. We don't need that anymore. So I am thinking that I want some of this pretty coffee colored ribbon. And I think I want it just right on the other side, actually showing some of the base, the green base between the two. I think I'd like to just put that right there like that. So I'm going to get some more glue down. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I have been working on lots of things for the Etsy store. I've got another journal I'm going to put in today all my pictures done. Alrighty, let's get this right on here like this and get a little bit of space between the ribbon and the cotton that's been stamped. You can see that's a little bit of a space there. So I look in the mirror, I'm the mirror, look in the computer, I can uh, see that it needs to be moved over just a tad being even. Now I've got some of this that's beautiful lace. I thought I could put that right here. I actually think it would be pretty if I put it over the edge just a little bit. I don't know if I want to glue that and then trim it. I think that's probably our best bet is go ahead and get this glued on and then trim it. So let me look and see here. I think if I have it hanging over that scallop right there, so that is right here is the top. So I'm just going to once again apply the glue onto my piece here that I'm working on. I find it to be easier, especially when the lace has so many 
holes in it. So I'm just going to dot it and try to get glue on here evenly dispersed so that all the pieces will be grabbed with some of this fabric tack. And let's lay this right on here, just like this. Okay, you guys, I'm liking that. Let's move that out of the way. So what we have now is we have some um, more of that paper. Okay, you guys, that sun is really bothering me. How about if we move it up here? Does that help? Nope, it does not help. Let me see if I can change those blinds. Well, that was the ticket. I just had to turn the blinds the other way. Okay, so I've got this lovely piece of pink lace right here. I think I would like to just tack that down right here. So once again, I think I'm just going to kind of eyeball and see where on where this lace is going to lie and just put some glue down onto our actual piece of cardstock that we're working with. And I like my stitching to show. So I'm going to apply it just like that. I think this came up a little higher than I thought. Okay, so I have some more of that Tim Holtz collage paper and I thought I would glue that down right here on the top. Oh, this cooler weather. Here we go. Okay, it's coming down now. Put it right here. Just like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that looking yummy? Once again, I had a little piece of ephemera that um, I printed out, you know, when you get a pack and you have different tags and things. I just ripped around the image that I wanted and I would like to place it, I think I would like to place it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this glue down on here, just like this. Now, once again, I'm thinking we need a little something, something. I need something. We've got this sorry silk and this, these colors, this color that goes very nicely with this. I'm wondering if we could blob it up here and then somehow get it to go here or something. I'm not sure. It needs a little something. I wonder if you, I could get it to go down that way. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. And then maybe a little bling on this one. Mm, yeah, I think so. Okay, you guys, I did. I globbed it on here, and then I kind of twisted it and globbed a little more here and took it right on out the top. So I am going to trim this up just like that. So we've got this topper. Whoop, this needs to be trimmed a little bit too. We have this topper that we made and we have this topper that we made. Oh, you guys, I have had great fun and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye now.